Hey, what's going on you beautiful, beautiful people? I hope you all are doing well. Today, we're talking about the Galaxy S21 Ultra once again. With the latest round of updates for One UI 4 and Android 12, a lot of features have been brought to this phone. Today, we're gonna go over several of those features. That way you can get the most out of this awesome update. But before we do that, I gotta give a quick shout out to this video's sponsor, Bitdefender. Look. Most smartphones come with their own form of security, and this is fine for basic protection. Many people forget that as technology advances, so do cyber threats. Not to mention most people are using their smartphones for important confidential tasks like checking banking accounts or securing digital assets. A hacker can easily get the information needed to gain access to these accounts by simply sending you a link via a text message. Once you click on that link, it will plant malware on your phone that monitors your keyboard inputs or just gives them access straight up to your private information. Bitdefender Total Security comes bundled with mobile security, which will protect you from these things happening. It has a built-in VPN that allows you to connect safely to public networks without the risk of your information being leaked over Wi-Fi. Most importantly, it has a new feature called Scam Alert. This will scan incoming links and determine if they are malicious. If there is a potential risk, it alerts you immediately. These links can come in the form of text messages, messaging apps like Telegram and WhatsApp, or any other app notification. There are other features packed into Bitdefender Mobile Security, but these two alone are reasons to try it. I'm gonna drop a link to the free trial in the description of this video. If you like it enough after the free trial, make sure to use my links to sign up and save yourself some money. By using those links, you're helping support my work, but more importantly, you're protecting your information. The first thing I wanna talk about is the color palette and theme matching feature. This is really cool. If you're big into customization, you're gonna love it. As you can see, I have a wallpaper that has different shades of blue. It has some black tones in it, some white tones. And if I wanted to match my icon color or just the overall theme of the OS, I could touch and hold, go under wallpaper and style, select color palette, and then it's gonna take the colors that are predominant in the wallpaper that I'm using. And I can select one of these, which are all based on my wallpaper, or I can just use the default. I can also apply the palette to the icons. So I'm gonna hit done. I'm gonna go back home, give it a minute to apply. And you can see the icon colors have changed for my default apps. If you notice your S21 Ultra having a problem with RAM usage, whether it's because you're gaming, multitasking, photo editing, or video editing, then you're gonna love this next feature, which is RAM Plus. You don't have to do anything. It works in the background, but let me show you where it's at so that way you can make sure that it's working correctly. What RAM Plus does is it converts four gigabytes of your internal storage to virtual RAM. And to make sure that it's working, you're gonna go into your settings, go under battery and device care, select memory and then at the top you should see ram plus virtual memory and you can see i have four gigabytes if i tap on the little i it will give you a breakdown of exactly what it's used for your internal storage can be used as virtual memory to improve app performance like i said you don't have to do anything but it's great knowing that this is happening in the background to improve performance whether it's gaming whether it's multitasking things that involve a lot of ram usage one UI 4 and Android 12 brought several camera improvements to the S21 Ultra. Let's talk about a few of those now, beginning with the changes to the UI experience because it looks a lot better and it's a lot cleaner. If we dive into the camera app, you can see everything is a little bit more tidy. So instead of using symbols to specify the different camera lenses, we now have numbers, which is better if you ask me. Also, if we go to pro video mode, our settings down here are easy to access and just easier to view. The same thing can be said with pro photo mode. The settings are just easier. Also, we have UW and W for ultra wide and wide versus the little symbols. Again, I think this is better. Overall, I think the camera layout and UI is just much cleaner and much easier to operate and find the settings that you're looking for. A cool feature inside the camera app is the ability to lock video recording when in photo mode. Let me show you how to do it because it's really cool and it's extremely useful. If you're inside of photo mode and you wanna quickly record a video, all you have to do is just press and hold on the shutter button. But now you can swipe up and it will lock that video recording, just like you see. And I can still fire away and take pictures while it's recording video. This is a great addition and I think a lot of people are gonna get a lot of use out of this. 
If you're a fan of single take, you're gonna love this next one. It now allows for a little bit extra time. That way you can use those extra seconds to capture more memories. Let me show you. If we go over to single take and then do a capture, you can see we get 15 seconds by default, but then you'll see the option to add five additional seconds, which is great if you're trying to capture even more memories, such as for your kids or maybe a sporting event or just an event period. It's just a great way of getting even more things captured in different ways, which is what single take is really good at. This next new feature, at least I think it's a new feature, is autofocus tracking support with 4K all the way up to 60 frames per second. Autofocus tracking has always been there, but I don't believe it went all the way up to 4K 60 frames per second, and now that One UI 4 and Android 12 allows that, this makes it even more useful. Let me show you. If we go over to video, and then tap on up here where it says UHD 30, I can go to UHD 60 and watch this. If I tap somewhere, you can see focus tracking is working. So I can put my hand here, tap on my hand, and you can see it is tracking my hand, and we are shooting in 4K 60, which is really, really cool. And you can see how good that focus is working. I think that's pretty awesome. If you're ever in a situation where you need your phone screen to be super dim, there's now an extra dim feature that brings the dimness of your display even lower than the traditional amount. It's really useful for things like laying in bed and you don't wanna wake up your partner or if you're in a movie theater. Let me show you how to access it and then how to turn it on. If you want to use the extra dim feature, you need to pull up your quick toggles, go all the way over, tap the plus sign, look for extra dim up in the available button section tap it and then drag it down. You can put it wherever you want, hit done. Now locate it in your quick toggles and then turn it on. And you can see the screen gets instantly dim and this is gonna be dimmer than actually adjusting the brightness all the way to zero. Well, maybe not zero, but you guys can get the point. With One UI 4 and Android 12, we also have a few additions to the lock screen. One of those happens to be media output options are now available right there on the lock screen, and this is super useful. Speaking of the lock screen, we now have improved widget support, and you can download the voice recorder from the Samsung Galaxy App Store and then place it on the lock screen as a widget. Let me show you, it's really neat, and if you're big into the voice recorder, you're gonna love it. If you go into the Galaxy Store here, and then do a search for voice recorder and download the Samsung voice recorder, you can now add it to your lock screen as a widget. So if we go under lock screen and then tap on widgets, you can see it will pop up right here, voice recorder, just make sure that's toggled on. Now if I go to my lock screen, tap on the clock, scroll down, there's my voice recorder. And you can see the widgets on the lock screen are also a little bit nicer. They show a little bit more information, especially the calendar, and it just looks really nice. So not only do we have some improvements, we have the new addition of the voice recorder, which is really cool. Next up, we have some improvements to the multitasking experience on the S21 Ultra. This is one of my favorite things to do on this phone, so let me show you this. To show you the multitasking improvements and enhancements, I'm gonna go ahead and launch an app pair right here. And if I wanna switch them around, you can see I can do so just by a couple taps and everything is a little bit more fluid. I can also tap the line below the three dots and I can pull up the little window here. I can minimize it into a small little app icon. I can increase it to take up the full size of the display. Go ahead and launch my app pair again. Tap on the line. I can also close out of it easily just like that. And everything is just a little bit more fluid and things can be done a little bit faster, things just seem snappier, and I really, really like the experience that you get now whenever you're multitasking with side-by-side -side apps. There are a few other things that you can do with the multitasking experience that um, aren't necessarily new, but they just have like a more refreshed or refined experience, and I'm digging it. This next feature is great for Chrome users. It allows you to easily define words just by simply clicking on them. It's really cool. I'm inside of Google Chrome, and if I just simply tap on a word, you can see I can get more information on that word down here on the bottom, and I can swipe up to view that information in more detail. I think this is pretty cool. So if I tap on wallpaper and then swipe up, it's giving me some more information on wallpaper, whether it's you know apps or wallpapers that I can actually look through under images. If I tap on tweaking, 
it's gonna give me the actual definition of tweaking and I can swipe up for more information. I'm not sure if this is new, but this is the first time I've seen it. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys think and is this a new feature or am I just late to the party? Next up, we have some improvements to the edge screen. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Edge screens aren't new by any means, but you can see the look has definitely changed. It just looks cleaner. It's also more snappier and more responsive. Plus it works with more apps than it did before. So let me know what you guys think of the new edge screen. Picture in picture is a great feature and I use it all the time on the S21 Ultra. It can now be resized a little bit easier. Let me show you what I mean. If I go into YouTube and then start playing this YouTube video and then go back home, you can see I have my picture in picture right here. What's new is now I can resize it just by pinching so I can make it larger or I can make it smaller. To me, this is more intuitive than having to grab the corner and do it. And I really like the pinching to zoom feature much, much more. If you're a fan of the Samsung keyboard, you're gonna love the fact that Samsung now allows you to integrate Grammarly right into the keyboard to give you even more optimization and just better performance. If I pull up my Samsung keyboard and then go inside of the settings and then tap on suggest text corrections and then toggle that on, it's going to give me text corrections, whether it's a single word or a phrase and it's powered by Grammarly. So this is great because now it's integrating Grammarly, which a lot of people rave about because it has some of the best um, auto correction in the game. And it's neat to see that integrated with the stock Samsung keyboard. We also have a few new features and additions that have been brought over to the photo editor. The first of which is the ability to add emojis and stickers right into a photo. It's pretty neat. If I pull up a photo and then tap on the little pencil icon to pull up the photo editor and then tap on a little smiley face, I can now add different stickers such as uh, we'll, we'll do like a chat bubble, like so. I can also add different um, emojis. So I can add an emoji now and do something like this. Tap on the emoji, resize it, do something like that. So this is somewhat new. I mean, you could do this before in the past, but now it's much more easier to find and it's laid out better. And plus it just works a little bit better. One of the standout features on the Pixel 6 Pro is the object eraser, but Samsung's been doing this for a while. And with One UI 4 and Android 12, the object eraser on the Galaxy S21 Ultra has gotten easier to access and it's better optimized and it works better. The object eraser is also more fine tuned and it just works a little bit better. Plus it's easier to find. So I have a photo here. If I want to remove that SD card, I can tap on the three little dots, tap on object eraser, and then now all I have to do is just tap on the object I want to remove, hit erase, and boom, it's done. If I need to fine tune it, I can just draw on the areas that I need to fine tune and then tap erase again, and it will kind of fine tune it. If I'm happy with it, I can tap done, and that's that. Samsung even brought improvements to the device care menu. Let me show you those. Let's go ahead and dive into the settings, and then we're gonna go under battery and device care and tap on it. And you can see the menu is definitely a little bit more cleaner. Plus we no longer have a number score. Instead we have an emoji. So you can see we're in good right now, which means the emoji is smiling. And if I optimize it, you could see it will give me a little animation and a nod, letting me know that the job is done. I can tap done and that's that. And you can see great has a even bigger smile. So this is a, a little bit more of a fun way to let you know that your device is in good shape or whether or not you need to run the optimization. And I really like the updated look of device care. If you're big into saving as much battery life as possible, you're gonna love this next one. It's a protect battery feature and it's also inside of the new device care menu. While we're inside of device care, let me show you protect battery. We're going to tap on battery and then scroll down, go under more battery settings. And then right here at the bottom, we can toggle on protect battery. Basically what that's gonna do is never let your battery charge greater than 85%. So it will only charge to 85% and then it will stop charging. This is going to preserve the lifespan of your battery. 
Of course, it's going to give you a little bit less battery life per day because it's not charging all the way to 100, but in the long run, it's going to improve the longevity of that battery. So if you're going to keep your phone for an extended period of time and not get a new one every year to two years, then you might wanna to consider toggling that on. If you do a lot of video calls on your S21 Ultra, you're gonna love the new mic modes. In order to demo the new mic modes, I'm gonna go ahead and place a duo call with myself. I'm gonna tap on this little symbol in the top right, pull up my video call effects, tap on mic mode, and you can see we have our different modes. We have standard, voice focus, and all sound. Standard is gonna be what you're already used to if you've ever used duo before. Voice focus is going to be dialed in on your voice and then block out all the external noises. And then all sound is going to capture all the sounds around you, making it a little bit more present, I would say. But you could always tap the little eye to give you a breakdown of what each mic mode can do. So that's pretty neat and definitely useful if you're big into duo calls. One feature I got asked a lot about was whether or not you could set the always on display to turn on whenever you receive a message. Well, with One UI 4 and Android 12, you can now do that. Let's go ahead and dive into the settings, then go under lock screen, tap on always on display, and you can see we have a new option right here for show for new notifications. So the display will be turned off always, and then whenever you get a new notification, that's when you're always on display will turn on. This is gonna give you a little bit better battery life, but also give you the benefit of having your always on display turned on. I really like that option. That's what I'm gonna be using moving forward. The last new feature I wanna show you is under the accessibility options, and that's the ability to use your screen as a flash for new notifications. Let me show you. Let's go ahead and dive back into the settings. We're gonna scroll down and go under accessibility. Then we're gonna tap on advanced settings. Then we're gonna tap on flash notification. You now have the option to enable screen flash notification, which will flash the screen whenever you get a new notification from either a specific app or all apps. You can also adjust the color that the screen will flash. So by default, yellow is turned on, but we'll switch it to purple. And then there is a quick preview of what it will look like whenever you receive a new notification. I know a lot of people love the camera flash notification, so you can use both together to make sure you never miss one. But if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. You can continue using the camera flash, or you can turn off the camera flash and just use screen flash. Regardless, you have the option to use either or or both, which is pretty cool. That was 20 plus tips and tricks for your Galaxy S21 Ultra running Android 12 and One UI 4.0. Let me know in the comments section what was your favorite new feature. I think the actual experience of this phone has changed since this new update and I can't wait to see what Samsung brings to it later next year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider giving it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.